Legends of Akedo has received a game update. Battling got a lot more beastly. New beast-inspired characters such as cat-themed Bloodpaw and dinosaur-themed Triceratops have entered the game. So get ready to fight and split strike with the new Beast Strike Akedo Warriors. But better yet, the update has included a new arena, the all-new Serpent Fury Arena. It comes with 40 plus sound effects and has three ways to play. Warrior versus Warrior, Warrior versus Beast, and Beast versus Beast. To power up the arena, start by flipping it upside down and ask a technical assistant to use a screwdriver to unscrew the battery compartment and insert three AA batteries. Now your arena is powered up. Let's get your beast and warriors ready for battle. If you are having trouble, align the metal contacts on the controller and the beast together and firmly push down to connect the warriors. Ensure the arrows on the coin base and the battle controller align. To start your arena, flick the power switch to the right. Now let's battle. Press the Red Beast Split Strike button to initiate combat. Ready, fight, Split Strike! There are two battling rules, basic and advanced. When following the basic battling rules, the main objective is to split strike your opponents, warrior and beast for the ultimate split strike. When you split strike your opponent's warrior, make sure to press the warrior split strike button. Split strike. And when you split strike your opponent's beast, make sure to press the beast strike button. Beast strike. This will keep track of your split strikes and confirm who really is the master of the beasts. Victory. Now let's take it up a notch. Are you ready to learn the advanced battle rules? To start, let's take a deeper look at the warrior. At the front of the warrior's coin base shows its health and damage points. At the back of the coin base is its value points. Before you start battling, ensure that the beast and warrior's health point sliders match the warrior's health point score. Since both Beastmaster Chuck's and Beast Realm Viperath's health score is 6, adjust both health sliders to match this value. If your warrior is split striked, its health points will be decreased by its opponent's damage score. Since Beastmaster Chuck's is split striked and Viperath's damage points are 4, the warrior's health point slider will need to be adjusted to 2. The warrior slider is found at the bottom. Then Chuck's activates his beast and the battle starts again. Now Viperath is defeated. Chuck's damage points are 3, so Viperath's health point slider will need to be adjusted to 3. Then Viperath activates his beast and the battle starts again. Chuck's beast has defeated Viperath. Subtract the damage points of the winning beast from the health points on the other. In this case, Chuck's beast has 3 damage points. This will be subtracted from Viperath's beast health points. The beast health point slider will be located at the top. If both your beast and warrior are split striked but still have health points remaining, put them back together and continue to battle. The battle is won when both the warrior and beast health point score reaches zero. Make sure to press either the warrior or beast split strike button when you leave your opponent with zero health points. Victory. This will keep track of your split strikes and confirm who really is the master of the beasts. Now listen closely as I am about to share some Akedo hidden secrets. If you both press the trigger at the same time, this will cause a special Jinx sound effect. This is just one of the many secret sound effects within the Serpent Fury arena. Battle to find them all. Now that you have mastered both the basic and advanced gameplay, as well as discovered the hidden Akedo secrets, you will be a legend of Akedo in no time. Good luck! Sometimes battling doesn't go to plan. Listen closely as I am about to teach you how to fix these issues. When engaging in battle and you split strike your opponent's beast, but the head doesn't split in half, you got lucky. You get a second chance to rise your beast back up and continue to battle. Your beast has been given another chance at causing a split strike. If your beast head splits open, but didn't get their split strike button hit, then reset the beast head together and continue to battle.
Sometimes your warrior may come off the controller if the switch is pulled too quickly. Try slowing down to prevent this. If your warrior turntable is pushed too far forward, this will impact your ability to change characters. To fix this, push the turntable all the way forward, then all the way back. If your warrior stops moving mid-battle, pull the slider back to switch to Beast, and pull it back one more time to bring the warrior into battle and reset the controller. Now that you know what to do when any problem arises, you will be a Legend of Akedo in no time. Good luck!